this is DJI's latest enterprise flagship, the Matrice 4T. And it comes with four different cameras. We have a wide angle, three times zoom, seven times zoom, a thermal camera for nighttime operations, search and rescue, and a lot more, as well as an auxiliary light and a laser rangefinder. This drone comes equipped with a lot of intelligent operation functions and it can easily detect vehicles and boats during search and rescue operations or during routine flights. The new laser range finder enables real-time precise measurement and through simple operations such as point marking, line drawing and area calculation, you can complete tasks like marking target locations for security purposes or calculate the area of a wildfire for example. Besides that, you can use the Matrice 4T for high efficiency inspections, surveying, first response, precision mapping and a lot more. And I'm excited to show it to you in action. So here it is, the Matrice 4T in all of its glory. And we have the DJI RC Plus 2, the huge beast of a remote controller that is used for this drone. Now, what's interesting about the Matrice 4T is that it's of course based on a Mavic drone. However, DJI has decided to differentiate the two brands that they have. The Mavic is now reserved for consumer drones, whereas the Matrice series is reserved for their enterprise solutions, such as the Matrice 4T and the Matrice 4E. We can see the drone still remains very portable, although it's a little bit bigger than a regular Mavic 3, for example. Still, we have the built-in RTK module here on the top, which is a nice touch since previously it was an additional accessory. Now this is built in in the drone for extra precision. You have slots for additional accessories, which we'll get to in a second. And then we have the beast of a camera like we already talked about. We have four different cameras and two different sensors here on the front of the drone, together with the five directional vision assist view, which is being delivered by all of these different sensors on the front and on the back. And now we also have one on the underside of the drone, which is extremely helpful for situations where you're hovering or you're trying to land and you want to see what's underneath the drone. Now you have the option to see with the vision assist camera what's underneath the drone and keep it even safer. And here we have the main controller for the Matrice 4T. This is the DJI RC Plus 2. And this is the beast of a controller. Not only it's huge, but in a good way, but it also is super comfortable. It's really nice to hold in your hands and also doesn't really have that many issues even when flying in sunny and bright conditions. So not too much glare and great, great visibility on all of the different uh, details and elements on the screen. We have those two huge antennas which are responsible for the up to 20 kilometers of range that you can get on the Matrice 4T. And even after flying this drone mostly in urban areas where we have a lot of interference, a lot of different obstacles between me and the drone and generally a lot of antennas and different types of signals around, I still have had absolutely zero issues with the signal, zero complaints. It has been rock solid. And now DJI states that they have a technology for reducing the transmission uh, issues with the signal between the remote and the drone. And I've had nothing but positive things to report on that. Let's check out some of the AI features of the Matrice 4T. For that, we need to press on the AI. And then we can see we are detecting all sorts of cars and currently no boats. I have disabled them. We can uh, alert for every single possible um, type of uh, subject, such as the person in the vehicle. We don't want that because we have far too many. So let's just zoom in a little bit. Right now we are using the seven times zoom and we can see that all the different cars are being detected as a subject and then we will select smart track now this is something that uh, will be a little bit tricky to perform here because uh, the cars are passing by quite quickly so let's pick this one for example and then the drone starts zooming in and following this exact subject and it's not moving at all it's only using the zoom and it's yawing around itself so it can keep following that subject and it's like on those shows not now it will lose it but no it didn't lose it it's actually using ai to detect the speed to kind of adjust and see where the vehicle will pop up after it's being lost and then it 
sees it again we have a lot of bridges here little bridges and still it managed to find it this is a super cool feature that will help with following identifying and uh, keeping in the shot um, subjects that you don't want to lose and we're still using 27 times zoom now it will probably lose it yeah now um, we can disable that and just zoom out all the way out from here because uh, we are very very far from where we started so this is a great test and as you can see the drone hasn't moved at all it's being it's been hovering in one place and it's just rotating and zooming and it creates that illusion that it's moving around the the subjects moving with them and following them but it's it's not let's take this building right here for example the big one uh, and let's just say we want to inspect the roof real quick as this is a very possible scenario this is a big building it has a rooftop but it also has a few things that could be handy to to be able to be checked out by the zoom we are currently using 112 times zoom which is a combination of optical and digital zoom and we can inspect some of these pipes for example we can uh, see if there are any possible damage or leaks or any problems with them and i'm not too too far away from the building but i have a full access of you know the the piping system and i can inspect it real quick if i want to i can jump into the ir mode which is the infrared mode and we can inspect again now the infrared uh, mode does not have um, such zoom you can have some digital zoom where we can see um, the different colors the different temperatures and if we press on a specific point we can kind of try to to see the temperature of this exact point now this is not super clear in terms of colors so i will press here and then we can uh, cycle between the different types of colors when using infrared uh, the infrared camera tint is my favorite one because it definitely showcases where the hot spots are uh, so you don't really have to guess that much uh, but we can also go through the iron red for example that's also a very popular one which also shows uh, a very nice way to distinguish between the cold and the hot areas now we can zoom out a little bit so you can see how this thing looks and the interesting thing about the matrice 4t is that it has a few different options when it comes to the different modes for ir so we are currently in the high gain mode which uh, has a very small measuring range but it has very high accuracy we can cycle between that and low gain which has large measuring range but also is not as accurate we can switch to that and you can see that it changes dramatically and then we can jump into the third one which is high resolution which says that it's able to distinguish subjects with slight temperature differences and the temperature measurement is not supported here in this mode but that could be very handy for some situations where you're looking for very very precise results in terms of distinguishing different objects so here you can see together with the cars uh, how things look like I personally think for me the best option is uh, that high gain one uh, it's it's the most clear for me but high res is also great for specific results that you might want to to achieve now if we take a look at the laser rangefinder which is this button right here RNG uh, we have a very very precise laser which can detect different distances for example this small bridge here is at about 345 meters now i just want to be sure that that's the target that i have selected so let's just select this as our target like so just make sure that our drone is detecting the bridge and then if we zoom out it says 305.5 meters and of course you can also use that in conjunction with some other features such as the ai uh, object detection to identify 
how far some subjects are. For example, if we also enable Smart Track and we tap on this, it gives us real time information about how far this car is, this truck is. By using the range function from the laser sensor of the Matrice 4T, you can easily add points to an area and calculate the total acreage of the perimeter of a field, for example. The interesting thing is that after you're done, the area stays there and kind of floats in space with the help of augmented reality, and then you can easily change the color of the surface, create more points, create an ortho map, for example, or save it for future usage. All this happens in a matter of minutes, and the amount of work the drone is able to do for you is just mind-boggling. Another interesting feature of the Matrice 4T which comes in extremely handy when using the drone for search and rescue is the observed area feature which records the area that the drone has already looked into so in cases where search and rescue has to cover a large area and time is of the essence you can easily see which area you've already observed so you don't accidentally double check it and lose precious time. The drone also has a discrete mode in which all lights will be turned off including the auxiliary light on the bottom and that could come in very very handy in scenarios where the drone is used for security purposes so it doesn't get spotted from a distance even when landing. And on the contrary, you also have a beacons feature which turns on the built-in beacon light on top of the drone to comply with FAA regulations when flying at night. Now if we're looking for a missing person for example and you're looking in a forest even though we don't have that many leaves here, still it wouldn't be very easy to spot the person. But when we switch to the IR there you go i pop up straight away you can see me here in yellow i'm moving my arms and especially if we zoom in a little bit and uh it's so easy to to spot me moving my arms and just waving for help maybe it's so easy to to distinguish the person along the trees and you have so many different controls to facilitate this color pop to make it easier to spot the person. Now what's really great about the cameras of the Matrice 40 is the huge diversity that they can offer in terms of different information that you can read throughout the different zoom range. For example, with the 3x optical telephoto lens, you can identify screws and cracks from a distance of about 10 meters, and you can clearly read instrument data at substations. With the 7x telephoto camera, you're capable of capturing great details from signs and number plates up to 250 meters away. Here, I'm about 400 meters away, I can still kind of read that license plate of the car pretty well, I would say. And finally, in situations where you have fog, haze or high humidity, we have electronic dehazing of the cameras, which can greatly improve the imaging clarity to match the conditions around you. You also have a dedicated night scene mode in which the drone can enhance your image by adding some noise reduction as well as enabling IR cut to help produce accurate color images and block near infrared wavelengths while passing visible light. The Matrice 4T features new NIR illumination hardware enabling lighting distances of up to 100 meters. This ensures clear visibility of objects in dark environments making it ideal for applications like wildlife protection. Now let's briefly mention all the accessories that you can attach to the Matrice 4T and give it extra features to use in different scenarios. So first we have a gimbal following spotlight, super handy to have for search and rescue situations. Then we have a real-time voice speaker and we have the RTK3 multifunctional station for even better precision when using this for mapping. Now I want to emphasize on something really important. I'm not an enterprise user by any means. This is only my second ever enterprise drone that I've ever flown after the Mavic 3E. So I'm not a pro by any means and I'm coming from camera drones and standard drones. Uh, and I want to tell you a little bit more about these types of drones uh, just from the standpoint of somebody who is used to flying cinematically and using drones for you know, taking photos and videos. This is a whole new world that opens up so many possibilities and every single time I touch an enterprise drone, I'm just baffled by all the opportunities, all the different things that you can do. And I'm loving every single aspect of what you can do with a drone like this. So of course, this is not the most comprehensive review of an enterprise drone since I'm not a pro when it comes to that. But hopefully you guys have managed to kind of get a glimpse of what you can do with a drone like this. And I'm only scratching the surface of what's possible 
available since I'm having this as a loaner from DJI and I need to return it soon but I want to thank them specifically for being able to give me this to try out for a couple of weeks so I can you know get to a new level when it comes to flying drones and see what they can do it's been a real pleasure and like i said a huge eye opener for what you can do with a drone like this how you can use it for good and how you can potentially save lives which is super cool but that being said guys this is everything i have for you from today's video i really had a huge pleasure of making it if you enjoyed it as well you already know what to do blow up the like button subscribe to the channel for many more videos like this one and i'll catch you very soon in the next one never stop flying Take care.